This story is for people who are dissatisfied with their lives, who believe that others are happier than them. To understand this story, watch the video until the end. Once upon a time there was a crow who was deeply unhappy with his existence. The darkness that enveloped his soul was reflected in his feathers, making him a symbol of the sadness that consumed him. One day, while perched on a tree branch, he was crying and met a monk who was sitting under that tree. A tear from the crow accidentally fell on his face. The monk raised his head and noticed that the crow was crying. Curious, he asked, My friend, what is the reason for your tears? Why are you crying? The crow, with its feathers disheveled and its eyes red from crying, sobbed and blurted out to the monk, I'm crying and sad because I'm deeply dissatisfied with my life. No one cares about me. People ignore me and reject me. No, I had no one to offer me food. Everyone hates me and turns their back on me. Death seems like a better option than this existence. Upon hearing the crow's words, the monk felt his heart filled with compassion. Wisely, he said, My friend, we must learn to find happiness in whatever conditions we find ourselves in. However, the crow was unable to understand the depth of the monk's wisdom and continued crying. The monk then reassured the crow, saying, Do not be discouraged. Tell me what you wish to do, for I can accomplish it with the power of my mantra. The crow was overjoyed as he felt a glimmer of hope and replied, O oh, blessed one, if you can grant me a favor, transform me into a swan. A swan is a symbol of beauty. Everyone looks at it enchanted by its grace and purity. I want to be a swan. The monk felt compassion and said, Very well, I will turn you into a swan. But before that, approach the swan and ask him if he is satisfied with his life. Talk to him while I wait here. The crow flew full of joy in search of the swan. He saw a swan gliding elegantly over a lake, approached it and exclaimed, How beautiful! You are white as milk. Everyone loves you, admires you and is enchanted by you. You must certainly be the happiest bird in the world. But the swan, with a saddened heart, replied, No, my friend, I am not happy. Although there are so many beautiful colors in the world, I have none. White is an insignificant color. I think the colored bird simply as if the parrot was the happiest with its bright colors. Upon hearing this, the crow was surprised and went in search of the parrot. He addressed the parrot and said, O oh parrot, how colorful and beautiful you are. You must surely be the happiest bird in the world. The parrot with sadness in his heart replied, No, my friend, I am not happy. Look, people keep parrots in cages. A good friend of mine who flew everywhere with me was caught in a trap and taken prisoner. I never got to see him again. In my opinion, the peacock is the happiest bird in the world. Plus, he's a lot more colorful than me. Driven by this revelation, the crow flew in search of a peacock. After a long and tireless search, he finally found a peacock confined inside a cage in a zoo. The crow watched as hundreds of people gathered to admire him. When the crowd spread out, the crow approached the peacock and said, Dear peacock, you possess stunning beauty. Every day thousands of people come here to see you, while I am constantly frightened when people see me. You must be the happiest bird on the planet. However, the peacock replied sadly, I used to believe that I was the most beautiful and happiest bird on the planet. However, because of my beauty, I have been imprisoned in this zoo, and I cannot escape. When people pluck out my colorful feathers to make ornaments, it causes me a lot of pain. The peacock sighed deeply and concluded regretfully, I'm trapped. I'm not a happy bird, friend. The crow was shocked to hear these words from the peacock. Curious, he asked, if you're not happy, then who do you think is the happiest bird in the world? The peacock replied serenely, after close observation around the zoo, I realize that you, crow, are the only bird who is not trapped in a cage. People don't try to keep you behind bars. Over the past few days, I have reflected on the idea that if I were a crow like you, I could happily fly everywhere and be free. Upon hearing these words, the crow flew away from there and, for the first time, he felt truly happy to be a crow. As we examine our own lives, we realize that this is our dilemma too. We make unnecessary comparisons with each other and, as a result, we sadden and condemn ourselves. We don't value what we have, which imposes a vicious cycle of unhappiness on us. We must learn to find happiness in what we have rather than wishing for what we don't have there will always be someone with more or less than us. If we constantly compare ourselves to others, we will never be able to find true happiness. 
Just as the crow discovered its freedom in the simplicity of its existence, it is up to each of us to seek happiness within ourselves, instead of incessantly seeking it outside. May we all learn from the crow's journey and find true joy in accepting who we are, free from the chains of external comparisons and expectations, because in the end, true happiness lies in the serene acceptance of our own essence. The person who is satisfied with what they have is the happiest person in the world. Keep this video forever to remember that you don't need what others have to be happy. If this story made sense to you, subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. Thank you for watching this video. Remember, always smile for the next.